here is the 3D printed fish trap. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Just put through some zip ties on it and we we're gonna try it out. We we're gonna throw it in this small stream overnight and see if we can find, um, find out if there's any minnows or any small fish in this stream. I've spotted a few in the past, but uh, we'll see if they're even big enough to uh, get trapped in here, not swim, swim right out. What I brought out is a bun. So we'll put that in there. It will start out with half. Just kind of hunk it up, throw it in there, see if that attracts something here. And then I also got, brought some dog food. I have a feeling, is that gonna fall right through? Oh yeah, it fits, fits between the holes, but it might stay in there for a while, we'll see. And then we'll get the rest of that bun in there. We'll try the small stream tonight if this don't work. Uh, I'll try another spot tomorrow. It is floating at the moment. I do see some bubbles coming out of it. I did print the fish trap with 20% infill, so there is air in there. Um, I did it f for the fact of just to print it faster. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, See if this thing sinks. Otherwise, I'll have to add some rocks to it or something. Okay, I didn't do nothing, but now it actually has sunk. I suppose I'd want to mess with the rocks then. I'm assuming, so it did probably uh, fill up with some of the water into the actual print. So we'll throw it back out there, get a little better swing on her. There we go. See if it sinks down. Yeah, there's there it goes. Got the bread in there. Got the dog food. All right, let's leave it overnight. Here we are the next day. Looks like there's some of the bread still in there. Some of the dog food still in there. Not seeing any minnows. Nope. Looks like uh, looks like no luck here. At a little pond here. Fished fished a couple times. Oh, just seen something something uh, splashed over there. Looks like this is a little bit higher up. But uh, yeah, we'll try it here. I'm gonna stick some more bread in here, freshen it up a little bit. Just kind of a good point that my buddy uh, mentioned. He's like, uh, he's like, so how do you get the minnows out? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I didn't even think about that because you do zip tie it together. I didn't really think about it, but I'm like, well, you just, you know, you just kind of shake them out, I guess, because you got the hole. Potentially that could kill your minnows. So that's uh, something else to consider, I guess. I have to figure out if there's a solution for that, you know, besides, you know, cutting the, cutting the zip ties off, which, I mean, if you got to do that every time, that'd be kind of a pain in the butt. So, all right, guys, I got this line out again. We'll just give it a good toss and we'll let it sit overnight. Back again, and we're going to see if, uh, see if we got anything on today. There goes some of the bread. Not seeing nothing so far. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, nothing. Not a dang thing. I brought a secret weapon. We'll give this one more night here. I think this might be the way to go here. Okay. So I brought... <laughs> Brought some chicken bones, and we we're gonna load that up. We we're gonna throw them in there, fit right in. Made those last night. They were like extra spicy. Figure that's gonna give it a little bit more scent, just than some normal old bread. So we're gonna toss this back out. There you go, perfect. So that's basically literally straight out. That actually looks deeper. I can't even see it now, so. You know what, that, that might be it right there. And I'm sure, you know, all that hot sauce on the chicken wings, you know, that's gonna really, you know, that'll uh, really transfer in the water well. So, all right, one more night, see what we can do. A little bit windy out here, so apologize for the wind. Um, you can see on the water, it's a bit choppy. Hopefully we got something today. Man, oh man, I am not seeing anything. 
Yeah, not a dang thing. I'm I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty surprised with that. So, all right, I'm gonna get this thing all wrapped up. We're gonna take this back home. All right, guys, I think I came up with a decent idea how to be able to open and close this. I think these, I think these twisty ties should hold up pretty well. Just kind of match them up with the the other zip ties. Question comes down to, is it worth printing? And I would have to say. Yes, definitely worth printing. You're gonna have to do a little bit of finagling, a little bit of tweaking, but overall, I think it is a good print. Even though I didn't catch any minnows this time or crayfish, I still think this is this will definitely work. We had ice uh, on the lakes and ponds, you know, probably probably two weeks ago. So I think that water is a bit cold. So I think that's one of the reasons um, I didn't catch any minnows or anything. I think it's still a bit chilly and I'm sure the fish are a bit sluggish. I think the cool thing about this is that you can scale it to the size that you need, you know, whether uh, what kind of bait fish you're going for, you know, or whether crayfish or bait fish. So this could fit in your backpack, it could fit in your tackle bag. And you know, it seems, it does seem pretty portable. If you do want to try this print out, it is on Thingiverse, it is not my design. I was just testing it out, see how well this thing works. So if you are interested in printing it up, check out all the links below and it'll go straight to Thingiverse so you can download the STL file and try some of these out. You can still use zip ties on the one side, but I thought this would be a good solution for this would be to use some twisty ties on the one side here. Um, you know, I was thinking about, could I, you know, could you use uh, wire, which this basically is wire, but it just has that plastic coating around it, which I think is a good option so if you do store this in like a backpack or a uh, a tackle bag, you know you're not you're not tearing up the inside of the of the backpack with the wire and stuff. So I think this is a pretty good option, and it does stay on there pretty good. I'll show you guys real fast. There you go. So you kind of created that hinge, and then you can dump out all your fish or the leftover dog food. So there it is. So now you basically have that traditional style uh, fish trap, you know, where you do have it hinged and you can just put it right back on and you can use the same same old uh, twisty ties. I did print the print at 20% infill, um, otherwise this print would have taken forever, so I did go with the 20% infill, which uh, does seem, seem to work just fine. I think you are going to have uh, water seeping in because it is uh, somewhat, uh, there's, you know, there's space in between here. It's not 100% plastic. It did seem to uh, float for a second, as you guys seen. Over a little bit of time, it did end up uh, sinking down. Otherwise, you could just add a few rocks to it. And also, a cool thing is, too, that if you do print this out of PLA, which I would recommend, that uh, that it is biodegradable. So, you know, say if, uh, I don't know, something pulls it in, or it gets uh, swept away in a river, uh, it's it's cool knowing that you know this will uh, eventually break down and it's not uh, it's not something that will uh, harm the environment you know or it is uh, somewhat eco friendly you know it's either uh, cornstarch or uh, sugarcane that the PLA is made out of that is my review of the 3D printed fish trap I definitely think it is worth printing I think it is a cool design it's portable I think it's durable uh, it's adjustable you can you know scale to whatever size you may need uh, so it fits in your backpack or a tackle bag. I think it is, is pretty slick, you know, you had to do a little bit of adjustments, you know, go from the zip ties to the twisted ties. So if you print this out of PLA, it is biodegradable, which I think is awesome. All right, guys, so if you, again, if you guys are interested in printing this out, make sure to check out the links below. It is not my design, just to point that out once more. You can go to Thingiverse, download the STL file, and print some out yourself to try out this summer fishing season. If you enjoyed this video and you are into fishing design or 3D printing, make sure to check out my other videos where I test out and review other 3D printed fishing related items. We'll be trying out, see how, see how they swim, check out their action, 
and uh, yeah, just kind of review them, let you know if, if I think it's uh, worth printing off or not. I also have my own fishing lure designs uh, that you guys can actually 3D print. And if you are new to printing fishing lures, I do have a video I just put out that is how to 3D print fishing lures in three steps. I wanted to show you guys the capabilities of the Cetus 3D printer. And I think it is, it is quite impressive. This was, I forgot how many hours, it was well over a 30 hour print. Kind of gives you a whole overview of how to get started uh, 3D printing your own fishing lures. I think you guys would really enjoy that. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Every single view helps. Every single subscription helps. If you would like to support my channel, that would be the best way to do it. All right, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.